You've got it tuned here to Audio Oasis here on KEXP. I am your host, Eva Walker. This is KEXP's Northwest Music Show. And I am in the KEXP live room with one of my favorite bands, Tres Leches. Hello. Hi. Yay. Of course. Are you We're kidding me? <laughs> of course. There's so much I want to say, but I should just shut up and let you play because this is really exciting. Thank and you. if I start, I won't stop, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we want to we want to talk you. with you too, but we'll we'll play something for you too. Yeah, here we go. Let's this do one, it. This one is for you. This one is for you. <laughs> yes.
quieres divertir Con el canto y con primón Solo tienes que vivir Un verano en Nueva Leches in our live room here on KXP. Thanks for coming on Audio Oasis. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much nice. for having us. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Eva. Where do I start? First of all, Tres Leches is made up of Alia, Ulysses, Xander, three amazing musicians, and today they are going to be featuring Adrian on the saxophone. Um, so, can we chat a little bit? Yes. Of is course. That, is that yes. all gravy? Of course. Cool. So, oh, they're switching instruments. It's another really interesting thing about this band. You all swap instruments throughout your sets. So, do you remember you, your, your first rehearsal? Oh, man. I think that was in, uh, it was in our house in Madrona with my parents, my mom and dad, Al and Michelle D'Alessandro. And um, we... We kind of like didn't quite know that we were that we were a band yet. 
um, I think we were just friends, you know, practicing at that point. And I feel like it was that way for a, a while, um, like maybe even the first year. But yeah, yeah, just just in the basement, just jamming. And and um, Xander and I had been playing together. Well, we had played together in other bands for a while since high school. And um, and Ulysses and I were. Met, we we met at a at a, a bomber shoot. At bomber shoot. Yeah, I was actually going to see this uh, Mexican band, uh, um, Nortec Collective, and, nice. and I think bomber shoots are cool. But well, I don't day. know right now, but uh, before they used to bring out a lot of Latin American bands. I think a lot of festivals nowadays are bringing a lot of Latin American yeah. bands, which is really cool. And and um, I met Alia. Uh, at that uh, specific show at Nortec Collective. And, and it was from there, like, we started talking about, like, bands that we like. And uh, we went to from the EMP and tried the Yeah, because I never, I never play any instruments, so she was like, oh, play the drums. Uh, you know, the EMP, they had, like, the drums yeah. and stuff. It was like, and then one day I just came home and the, the other two <laughs> were just jamming. And, and they, it was really cool. They were jamming on a song that became Good Things. And, and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I could add anything to this. Maybe little keyboards, and then they liked it. <laughs> and then we were a band. Yeah, it was really nice finding Sander there too, because you know when you find uh, that those people, you know that that you f find that connection with. It's really hard to find people that share the same ideas, yeah. um, same music, and everything. You know, we also, of course, have our disagreements, but that's the cool thing about it, that, that we can talk about every issue, and, and it's always really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and... That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> oh, Ollie's oh. moving to the drums. Yeah. Ooh. Musical Big chairs. swap. So, Ollie, I think you answered my, my next question. At what point did you all realize you were a band? Was it that jam <laughs> that you walked in on with Xander and... Um, yeah. Ulysses? I feel like for me that was like a, a pivotal point in realizing like like because it meant like the I knew I could play with Xander and I knew could, I could play with Ulysses and I knew we had all jammed together and I didn't really know how those two felt about each other and when I came home and I was like ah y'all can make music <laughs> like the two of you I was like I think I think I I don't know that we knew we were a band yet because we didn't we still didn't start like playing out gigs for a while and that, that was maybe like one of the first songs that we actually wrote together. Um, but it was definitely like, it was like this, this will work if we want it to. Yeah. Awesome. So, Alia, I feel like <laughs> this question, I'm going to start asking bands this question. Maybe not every band, but you're, gonna be, you're the first band I'm asking this question yeah. to. Because what better way to start. So, are you familiar with the golden record that went off... Um, in the space on Voyager One and Voyager Two, uh, it 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 I, it sounds familiar, but not that. Yeah, familiar. I don't think it's familiar. I yeah, think it, it's it's in the back of my head somewhere. <laughs> so anyone who's not familiar with it, so the Golden Record um, launched on Voyager One and Voyager Two in '77. Voyager Two first actually in um, August in Voyager One, second in September, but it's going at a faster pace in Voyager Two. So on it, they included this thing called the golden record which is a um copper gold plated over copper disc and it has music on it pictures things like that and the record that's on it is music that represents humanity so it comes music from different cultures um countries and different languages and it's supposed to if some extraterrestrial life finds it it's supposed to be hey here's kind of a biography of Earth. So what song of Tres Leches would you, if you can include one on the golden record, what song of yours would you have included on that record? And that could just to be to represent Tres Leches or your interpretation of humanity. That's a big question, I know, and I should have, asked, I should have pre warned you up for that. But if you can't answer it, then when I have you guys on the show again, then you can give me an answer. No, 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 no. It's, it, it, I mean, I think we need to write a new one. Yeah, that could, that could, that's a I good answer. I think we answer. all have like, like, because we all have like songs um, that sing um, vocals to it. So we all have like attachment to like a certain, well, in, just this is just in my case. Like I have attachment to, to Deja de Joder. 
I was going to say Deja de Joder, to be honest. And, um, and it was because, you know, like, it's reflecting the times that we live today. And, and it's not, we didn't start this band trying to be political. Like, I guess, like, art just becomes political. And, and it's just like, it was very, it was just very organic. And, and we didn't meant it, meant it to be uh, like that. We, want, we still have fun playing, but like that song specifically, it's like, it lets me out a lot of energy that I can't get out in any other places. I, I think the key word that she was saying was humanity. Mm -hmm. And in that, when, when you mentioned organicness, that's kind of why I, I, I thought about Deja de Joder, especially because there's a big improvisational part where we all just play whatever we're feeling. And, and that's kind of how we, we wrote the song to be too. So I thought, I thought that organicness that you said kind of, I would, I would put, of the songs that we have, I would put Deja de Joder. Yeah. What do you think, Sander? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good one to do, yeah. I forgot about it because we weren't, we weren't playing it today. <laughs> Unless you want to change the no. up and down because no. we built it up. But you know, you're right. Awesome. So this question is directed to you, Alia. Um, in an interview you did with South Seattle Emerald, you mentioned how this album, um, Amorpho, was the result of euphoric chaos. Chaos in its idealistic form. Can you explain what you mean by that? Chaos and it's supposed to, well, um, yeah, I think, so Immortal, Ulises actually uh, suggested the term for the album Immortal, which is just, it, it's Spanish for amorphous, which just means kind of like without shape and um, chaos in its most euphoric form. Yeah, I, I think life, life is very, just, just a, like scrambled eggs. <laughs> like, like it's just, um, it's just very crazy, and you're, it, it's, it's kind of intangible, and, and I think spirits and souls are intangible and very fragile, and, and it's hard, as, as much as, like, you think that what you know with your conscience, as much as we have, a, as, as what we're conscious of, there's so much more that we're unconscious of that goes on, and it's, I don't know, I think that combination of unknowing and, and, having perception of yourself and, and as you're going through life. That's, it's an interesting combination that's very chaotic and in a way very beautiful and unpredictable. And I think that that kind of serves going back to that organicness of that humanity. Uh, like embracing I, the chaos? Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's not, um, it's not, I, was, I guess I was just trying to use the word chaos not as a bad word, you know? It's not always bad to have that sense of unpredictableness and not know where you're going it's, it's yeah okay. I believe in this art because you mentioned it being a beautiful thing um yeah. when you were talking about chaos and it's it's which is amazing because we typically think of it as it's messy it's all over the place mm. it's bad but um the words you use in its idealistic form for you that's a beautiful thing which yeah I really appreciated that yeah so that's another yeah. perspective never thought of thank you yeah thank yeah you. So you're all gonna play two more songs for us? Yeah. Yes. Ha ha this away and then despise us. Awesome. This is Trust Legends here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. <laughs>
we have uh, Adrian on the saxophone for the next song, The Spices. I hope you enjoy it. Going back to that, what you said about chaos, my, my headphones fell off on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Almost what felt like immediately. And um, it was good. It made me listen more, which I don't do enough when I'm, when I'm playing, I feel like. And it brought me back to what I really love about playing with these two is that we all listen to each other very well. Um, this song was written a bit ago. It was, it was in response to um, McDonald's and some other corporations um, taking on the city, fighting them about the, the minimum wage, $15 minimum wage. And I didn't like it! <laughs> <laughs>
Tres Leches here on Audio Oasis we have on a KEXP. Surprise oh, yeah, thank you for being here. We have a surprise for you for being awesome. Really? And yes. It's, I hope you like it. It's, uh, I, I don't know what it is. No, oh, my goodness. I'm, oh, my God. Oh, listeners, what's going on? I don't know. I can count. <gasps> it's a Tres Leches. <laughs> No matter where you, it says, okay, everyone listening, it says, it's a cake that says, no matter where you are in space. <laughs> Wait, no matter where you are, yeah, in space, eating cake on audio ace. <laughs> you guys, you can't make me cry on my own show. <laughs> Thank you for having Thank you, Tres Leches. We're going to cut the tears out the camera, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tres Leches. Thank you. You guys are amazing. You have a show Saturday, June 8th at the Tractor Tavern. Yes. Yes. It's true. It's true. Who are you playing with? The Grizzled Mighty. Wow. Yeah. So stoked. That's what we said. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, and the Tractor is cool, too. Like, it's a really nice. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you've played there before, right? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. really nice. I want to play there with Tres Leches one day, though. <laughs> let's do it. Please, yeah, let's do it very soon. <laughs> so that is Saturday, June 8th at the Tractor Tavern. Check out Tres Leches, one of the best bands in the Northwest. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. so much, Eva. You're listening to Audio Oasis here on KEXP. <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> yeah! I was so distracted by the cake. I was like, ah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for all your hard work. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.